feels all right, this? Feels all right? We have fish. There you go. That's what we came for today. First cast, and it's been out, what, a minute? A minute, and we've got coddling already. I'm dead pleased. <laughs> so I'm here with Mark today. We came out fishing, um, and the plan is to catch some more coddling, hopefully some decent stuff as well. We're at Seaton Sluice on the point, and the sea is really rough. There should be a fair few fish around. This is a little one. Let's see if there's something bigger. Yeah, the sea's pretty rough today. There's a lot of white water coming in, stirring the sea right up. Which is what we want. And the, the sea's a nice brown colour too, so a lot of colour in the water, maximising the chance of fish. Right on my rod there. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That feels a bit better putting up a bit of a scrap this one now I don't want to get too close to the edge here oh has it just come off there no it hasn't it's still on I don't want to get too close to the edge because it's a bit risky here this is close enough for me all right let's get this up and hope it doesn't come off because it feels like a canny one oh <laughs> yes, come on. <laughs> oh, I'm on your rod there. Get in. That's the keeper, yeah. Absolutely. That's the keeper for you. Now that has to be. I think it's got to be my biggest cod. By my biggest codling ever. So there you go. Another PB for me. That's a nice cod. I don't know, what do you reckon? A couple of pounds? A couple of pounds. I'll get the scales out and we'll measure it in a minute, but there you go, look at that. Nice, fresh cod. Straight out of the North Sea. Fantastic. Get in. What a day we're going to have today. Right, there we go. So you can see the size there. I know it's not a monster, but it's my biggest codlin ever, so I'm chuffed to bits. That wind's quite strong, so it's blown the wind, the line, right round in a big bow. But we're, we're both using braid, 
so we've got pretty good bite detection. There is that risk that it just blows around and gets pulled into a snag, but so far, so good, fingers crossed. It's bloody freezing here. We've got the wind coming right onto our faces and it's a cold wind, isn't it? Snagged. Okay. Don't get my gloves on and give it a yank. Had little bites on there, but I think it's coming back. I tell you what, standing on this rock's a bit scary, I have to say. It's not for the faint-hearted. I think that's just bouncing around on the bottom there. I'll leave it for a bit longer. I've just changed the baits there. And I've put a bit of rag on the top. On the bottom, I've got um, the razor clam, mussel, and a little bit of cart as well, all bound together. So we'll get that back out and then we're gonna have a cup of tea. Right, we've been here about an hour and a half, two hours almost, and it's gone a little bit quieter. It's about another hour and a half till high tide. So the plan is to fish here until high tide. Um, maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's an hour after high tide, um, and then make a decision whether we stay here or we move to a different mark. Mark's just lost a set of gear, so he's, um, Putting a new rig on and a fresh bait. Just had some decent bites there. I should have my gloves on, my hands are freezing. Out wind is north, chilling us. Come on, come back. It's quite hard to hold the rod still. It's just, um, the wind's taking the rod and the line and blowing it around. It's difficult to, to feel bites like this. No, I'll put it down. I'll leave it a little bit longer. Hopefully it'll come back. Bites on mine again. Another one. Oh, this feels pretty good as well. Yeah. <laughs> this feels similar to that last one, to be honest with you. Let's hope I get it up. Come on, baby. Yes. Oh, that's a fat one, isn't it? Another one. There we go. 
another nice codlin. It's a little bit smaller than the last one, but you know what? It feels as heavy. So I'll get the scales out and we'll get that one weighed and see. And swallow that right down. Yeah. So that's another one that's coming home for the pan. There was a few of you commented about me throwing all the fish back. And I've kind of come round to the fact that it's okay to take some home. Um, and especially from this mark, because it's such a high drop, chucking a big fish like this up here, the, the chances are 50-50 of it surviving. So we might as well keep the ones which are size, take them home and have a fish supper or two. Right, so that's, we'll just weigh the second fish and it is slightly lighter than the other one. So that's at um, one pound, six ounces. So not a bad fish for me. I'll give you a look at that. Nice, fresh codlin. Excellent. Right, I'm going to get, get this baited up. What I've done is I've got a bit of squid, stuffed some cart in it, and also a bit of mussel too. And I've put a four-row hook on. Um, I had little hooks on to start with, just from some rigs I'd made up the other day. So I'm just going to bind this on. So I've just made it into like a little package. The cart's stuffed inside of the squid. The mussel is stuffed inside of the squid. I am going to poke a few holes in it too, so that the juices can come out. And I am also going to bind on the squid head for a bit extra bulk and a bit extra scent in the water. So there you go, you can see it's kind of bubbled, bubbled up quite a bit. So if I just put a couple of little holes in, that lets the juice flow freely. And we'll get that back out. Mark might have just had a couple of bites there. Could be Mark's first fish of the day. Ah, oh, he is, yes. Oh, get in. He's got a little cuddling. Nice. Well done, Mark. Right, we need another one for me now. So that, oh, is that bite on your rod there? Yes, little touches on Mark's again. It's definitely something having a, a sniffle at it. Anything? Oh, it feels a bit heavy, he says. Yes. Could be another fish for Mark, yeah? Yeah, he's got one. Let's have a look. A little teeny one. Another little codlin. Nice. 
nicely lip hooked. Oh, that came out nice. Show the camera, smile. <laughs> So while it's still light, and just in case we don't get any more, that's the two I got earlier on. Two nice coddling. Right, so we've had a little chat and we've decided that um, we're gonna get off this mark while it's still light, because it is a bit of a scramble up and it's pretty wet and soggy. So it's not the safest of places. Better to do it in the daytime. Um, and we're going to just head along and finish off on Blythe Pier, close at home. And it means I can go to the loo as well, because I'm getting a bit uh, desperate. <laughs> right guys, that's us on the Blythe Pier now. There's, the water's much calmer than um, it was where we were before. I'm guessing it's going to be whiten that we're going to get here. But we'll give it a try, see what happens. This is the first bait going out now. fish on Blythe Pier. It's not very big. It's whitening a flatty. That's all right for cast one. Yeah. All right, so not a bad start. First cast, two fish. Got a little dab, tiny little one. See him. There you go. That's better, isn't it? There you go. Tiny little dab. Minuscule. That one. Get him back in. And as predicted, we've got whiten as well. Uh, yeah, he swallowed that. Right down, I'll get him off and I'll just chuck him back in and we'll get fishing again. Just bait the back up, fresh baits on. Little hooks. I don't think there's going to be many big cod around here tonight with the sea being so flat. So we'll just target the smaller stuff. That's where the bait collection at the minute. There's a bit more in that bag too. Seems like more white. Yeah. It's just a tiny little white. I'll show you what he looks like. That's in there. And I'll just get chucked. Straight back in. Anything? A uh, little whiten. Yeah, it's going to be whiten fest again, isn't it? Yeah, a little whiten. We'll get that off and we'll get it chucked straight back in. Yeah. Mine again. I know what this feels like. Yeah, I could have put money on that. Another whiten. 
I think um, we're going to have a coffee and then we're going to move to the top of the pier, see if we can get some coddling from the end. I honestly haven't got a clue where I put the snicker bars. <gasps> what we're going to do? Oh, I found them. I shouldn't have told them, should I? I should have just eaten them myself. I think I would have gotten away with that one. There's a little white mop marks just pulled in. Chuck that one back. Splash. Right, guys, we've moved to the end of the pier. We're going to have an hour here. See what happens um, and we're going to have an early finish today we've had a good day so we've enjoyed ourselves point of staying out too late and getting too cold i've got fresh baits on here and i'm just going to chuck it straight out right off the end of the pier Set some bites on my rod there. I'm not sure what. Doesn't feel too bad actually. It feels bigger than a whiten. It probably will be a whiten though. Yeah, it's a decent one. Not a bad size. Oh. Oh. Oh, stay still. Yeah, that's not bad. Quite a big white in that. Bigger than what we're getting further down the pier. He's hooked well down. I'll get the disgorger out and I'll get him off that, but probably a keeper, to be honest with you, that one. Decent size. Da, da, da. Yeah. So while I was record, uh, baiting up there, Mark's just had another whiten. That one there. Not, that Not bad. It was um, easily unhooked, so he's just going to chuck it back in. But once again, I'm absolutely stinking. My hands are full of all sorts of claw. It's not the most glamorous sport, but if you're prepared to just go for it, just um, forget about, you know, looking good and all that kind of stuff. Just get out there, do a bit of fishing. Enjoy it. Don't be frightened to get your hands dirty. And as I've proven, you'll catch some fish. It's not that difficult to do. And it's very enjoyable. It always completely clears your mind. Oh, that was a knock. Well, when I say knock, white and bite. And it's coming in in any case. We've come to the end of the night. Yeah, I've got him. It feels a bit better than the last one, actually. Oh, actually, it's a fair size, that one. Not bad. Not bad way to end the night. So, um, not bad fish. There we go. Another decent size whiten. For it, finish the night off. Get in. Right, that's it guys. We've done for today. Um, we've had an excellent day's fishing. I've got two of my biggest coddling ever. Um, quite a few whiten, a little dab. Um, we've got fish to take home with us as well. Uh, so we'll be having some fish suppers through the week and beyond. Um, I'll plan something else. Don't know what's going to be next, but I'll be catching some fish hopefully. 
thanks for tuning in. It's great that you do. Don't forget, subscribe, like, whatever you want to do. Fine by me. And just keep watching the videos. And I'll see you in the next adventure. Cheers. That'll do, won't it? <laughs> <laughs>